This is a Garbarook cassette. Now, Garbarook is a brand you probably have not heard of before. I find a lot of mountain bikers have not heard of this company, but they've actually been around for about eight years now, uh, and they're starting to gain a little bit of traction here in the United States. This is a Shimano 12-speed micro spline that I'm going to be replacing uh, on my bicycle. Uh, they come in all different colors. Uh, this one I got with the big cog anodized red, which you can see there. What's awesome is these are a two-piece design. Uh, the whole silver area here is uh, one piece of steel that's been machined out. And then the anodized red on the back uh, for the large 52 tooth cog is machined out of aluminum. Uh, it does appear that on this cassette that the... Uh, two parts are actually held together with little Torx bolts, uh, you can see there. So uh, I'm making an assumption that you can just replace the large aluminum cog uh, when and if needed. Now I'm going to be using this cassette to replace my current uh, XT 12 speed that I have on my bike there. So anyway, this is a pretty cool looking cassette. Uh, the things that people are talking about when it comes to the Garber cassette is how lightweight it is. So we're going to be doing, uh, I mean, this thing is really lightweight. Uh, it feels like it's going to be substantially lighter than my current XT cassette. Uh, so we'll do a weight test uh, here in a moment. Now, one of the other things I went ahead and did was I ordered a set of matching jockey wheels at the same time. Uh, these are also anodized red. They come in a bunch of different colors. These are 14 tooth each, so they are a direct replacement uh, without having to change anything else out on my current derailleur. So those should go straight onto the 12 speed Shimano derailleur. Okay, so there's all the components. Let's go ahead and pull my old cassette off and then do a little weight test here. So we'll quickly get the old cassette off. Now, you'll notice right away there's a lot of parts on the old Shimano cassette, but there's all the pieces. We're gonna go ahead and throw that on the scale and see where this all tips out. Okay, so that's all the components. Oh, except uh, I forgot the lock ring. So we'll go ahead and grab the stock lock ring and throw on there. So we are at 471 grams. Okay, so that's the stock Shimano XT 12 speed micro set. 471 grams. The Garbrook, we're gonna put on there. And holy crap, it's 351. Add the lock ring, 356. Wow. So, <laughs> man, that is a substantial weight difference. Uh, so now we're talking about uh, 115 grams in weight savings over an XT cassette. Now it's not going to be as dramatic for something like an XX1 or a XTR, but still that's a lot of weight savings. So the install, to put this on the bike, it's incredibly easy. Obviously micro spline, you just have to line up that one fat key in the right spot. And this whole thing just slides on. There's a new lock ring that comes with it. It's also anodized to match. Tighten that all down and that's really it, your install. Um, it just, it goes on that easy. It's way easier to install than the stock Shimano cassette with all those pieces and parts everywhere. All right, next up, I'm going to go ahead and do the jockey wheels. Now, you don't even have to take the derailleur off of the bike to do this. Uh, I did take my chain off because I'm going to replace my chain and they do recommend using a, uh, a new Shimano chain. So I'm putting a brand new XT chain on this bike when I'm done. Uh, but obviously your uh, jockey wheels are pretty easy to take apart uh, and remove off of the, uh, the bike or off of the cage there. Now let's take a look at these side by side. So you, we got these new ones and they appear to be a lot larger, but, uh, and, and they are a little bit larger diameter, but they are the same tooth count. Uh, so these are the 14 tooth cogs, um, but they do appear a little bit larger in diameter. Um, and I think that combined with the slightly larger cassette, uh, I'll be adding one link to my, to my new chain when I put this all back on. Um, note the bolts, they do not come with new bolts, so you will need to reuse your bolts from your old jockey wheels there. But um, 
Couple other things to note on here, they do have a front and a back. So I don't know if you can see in the camera here, but the, the one side has almost a texture, almost it almost looks like a rope, like really cool machine work they did on those. That is the front side of the jockey wheel. So that will be the side that faces away from your wheel, right? That'll face towards the outside of the bike. And then the smooth side will face to the inside of the bike or to the, uh, the direction to the wheel. Let's go ahead and see how these stack up weight wise versus the XT ones. So XTs, we are at 26 grams for the pair of jockey wheels um, for the stock XT. And then these two combined come in at 20. All right, 20 grams. So now we're at another six grams of weight savings for this overall conversion. So that's bringing our grand total to 121 grams less weight. Now, I'm not a total weight weenie, but weight savings are nice, um, especially when we're getting more range and some pretty cool aesthetics out of this setup. Really? That sounds pretty good. Okay, here we are, all done with the install. Got both jockey wheels updated, got the cassette on, got the brand new chain on, and uh, had to make a couple of adjustments, but so far, it seems to be shifting fairly well. Okay, this thing seems to be shifting pretty well, at least in the stand. Of course, I'm gonna have to take this out and put some actual miles on it and see how it performs out in the real world. Uh, we'll see how the cogs wear in, we'll see how these jockey wheels wear in and see how everything holds up. So I'll do another video, but it's gonna be a long-term review of this cassette. Um, yeah, this thing, I'll put links to it uh, in the description, but I got it online, uh, I think it was about 286 bucks and then another 72 for the jockey wheels. So um, overall, it costs less than say like an XX1 or an XTR um, and looks really cool. So anyway, we'll see how it goes and uh, we'll give everything a good shakedown. But that's it for today. Uh, hit me up with questions or comments uh, in the comment section and as always, Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.